Hello everyone and welcome to this book review which is on Before the Fall by Noah Hawley. This book is a, marketed as a compelling thriller. It's a hot summer night in 2015 and a private jet is about to take off from Martha's Vineyard for its short flight to New York. On this flight are two wealthy and powerful families. The head of one of the families is a kind of Murdoch-esque media mogul with a finger in a lot of political pies. And the other, his friend, is headed by a, a man whose firm is on the cusp of being done for money laundering by the FBI. Also, catching a late minute addition to the flight is a local artist. The wife of one of the rich men happens to be a fan of this artist's work and he's hitched a lift back into town at the end of season. However, 18 minutes after the flight takes off, it crashes into the ocean and all on board are killed. All 11 are killed, except for two. The artist and the four-year-old boy of one of the rich men. The artist rescues the four-year-old boy from the wreckage and swims to safety. He is hailed as a hero, the only two survivors from this crash. And so we have a who done it or why done it? Why did this plane crash? What are the reasons? Is there foul play at work? Are there political machinations going on behind the scenes that we don't know about? Or was this an accident? Was this mechanical failure? Mm, and so it begins. And so where does this, is this a good book? Well, it comes from someone who does know an awful lot about mystery. Noah Hawley is a acclaimed writer and producer of hit TV shows such as Fargo and Bones. So he knows an awful lot about creating mystery and throwing people off with red herrings and examining character backstories. And you know what? This is exactly how this book feels. It feels like a television screenplay. It's a big book and each chapter we examine something new about either the people on the plane or the or the events that are going on around it and it is it felt a bit like a um you know when you drop a pond in uh, um, a drop of stone in a pond and the ripples go out these chapters feel like ripples going wider and wider the catchment area getting ever bigger we examine not just the backstories of the people who died on the plane but such as those such as the crash investigators the, the people who are left over with custody of this young child the FBI investigation into the money laundering sort of ripples out and out the random daughters of billionaires who seem to know these artists and give them a, give the artist a safe house uh, the artist friends and it sort of goes further and further and actually this is what I liked most about the book it is very interesting in its examination of people an examination of who we are it's very interesting but here's the thing this way of looking at it this mystery means that it's not a thriller okay so if you're looking for a thriller this book is one of those ones that has been packaged as a thriller to catch you, but it isn't. To be a thriller, it needs to be suspenseful and have high stakes. That is not what this book is about. The crime, the supposed crime, happens right at the beginning of the book. The plane goes down. Nothing else is going to happen and no one else's life is at stake. This is simply is why on earth did the play go down? There are moments of tension when clues start coming in, but there isn't the sort of someone's going to die stake that you need for it to make a thriller so there's that sort of element to it i also have other packaging problems like this this is the worst cover that i think i've ever seen i mean before the fall is a bad name for a book anyway but i don't know if you can see it it is basically before the fall written in a t over some lapping waves right so cover designers these days are amazing and can do covers that work so hard for the book this cover does not, I mean, it's terrible. For a, such a compelling mystery, and this is well written, it is interesting, to have such a poor design is such a shame. However, if you also read my Goodreads review, you'll notice I only gave it three stars. So that sounds quite shocking, because you think, oh, you obviously really like it, and I do, but there's another big problem that really bugs me. There are female characters in here. The women are terrible. Lordy, they're so badly written. Um, they're so badly written. They are falling into two traps and you can guess what those traps are. They are either mice or they are sort of rabid sexual 
addicts, you know, Madonna whore complexes all over again, saint and sinner. The women are drawn so poorly. They're either mice cowed by their partners and cowed by their men, constantly sort of diminishing themselves in order not to impact their partner, or they're sort of these sort of sex addicts who are uh, like these rich beautiful women who are desperate to get in bed with this impoverished washed up artist just because he's some kind of temporary hero I mean, it's just so unbelievable it's so unbelievable and there are even moments there's a phrase in here where uh, Noah refers to one of his female characters as she went out to paint the town red with her menstrual blood what it it is not it's not meant literally <laughs> it's meant to work as some kind of metaphor and it i mean it means nothing it means nothing it's just he obviously thought that was a really clever phrase but because the women in this book are so bad it really smacks of a male writer it really smacks of a man who has no insight into women and that is such a shame because the male characters in here are really interesting i found the supporting characters were really heavily invested in they were complex they were full of contradictions and they made this an exciting read and certainly Noah is very skilled. Towards the end, as the clues start coming together and you begin to paint a picture of what actually happened that night, there is an immense amount of tension and there's a lot of page turning. It's slow coming, it's a slow burner, much like the TV shows, but of course at the end, you're completely in, in, engaged. Uh, and that is really well done. I understand the film rights for this have already been sold, what a surprise, and I'm sure this will make a very engaging film. But I sense this is a book very much for people who aren't really interested in female characters, but who want a really good page-turning mystery, a bit like Lost, you know, to get involved with. In that, Before the Fall by Noah Hawley is going to serve you very well. It's going to serve you very well. It's compelling. It's gauging. I thought it was great. Caveat, it's obviously already explained. But I just felt um, it was let down. However, it shows a writer with an immense talent. And I know there have been a lot of reviews talking about the ending of this book, which I won't spoil. But I actually thought the ending was perfect in that it really showed that Noah had a complete command of the themes that he was exploring in this book about life, about cause and consequence, cause and effect, and how sequential events may or may not be linked. And I thought that was very smartly done. So Before the Fall by Noah Hawley. Read it if you want, but you know, remember what I've said.